Oh, man. Whew. <laughs> Long day today. Long day today. So long. I had to stop up into the uh into the office. Had a had a nice little chat with my safety director. Shout out to my safety director, you know. Had a nice little chat about uh about uh personal convenience. Yeah, that part. Um I mean, I've been kind of cool about personal convenience. You know, I, I I pride myself to at least know a little bit of information about it. But sometimes it's just, you know, some sometimes it can, it can get real convoluted, I should say. I don't know. But let's talk about it. Let's talk about that in today's commentary. Let's get at it. Ryan Little. <laughs> Hey guys, Lockout Man back again with another commentary for you today. In today's commentary, we gonna we we got an email. We got an email that you know they wanted my opinion on, and we're gonna talk about a little bit about personal convenience. Now, I hope you guys had a good weekend. I you know I I pretty much had a good weekend. I think. You know, enjoying my time off with my family and uh, getting back on, you know, getting back at it. So let's let's go ahead and jump right into this. So I will say about a week ago, I had my personal convenience left on by accident. The truck didn't move. Um. You know, I, the, the truck was parked, but I, I left my personal conveyance on uh, for about, what, 11 hours or something like that. You know, I, I, I completely forgot to take it out of personal conveyance after I got to where I needed to be. Because I think I, I'm not sure what actually happened, but I, I think I ran out of hours or something like that. And... And I, I think I was still on the, I, I don't know. I don't know. But I, I know I forgot to take my personal convenience off. Uh, I noticed it in the morning when I got, you know, when I got on. And uh, I, you know, kind of said to myself, like, oh, okay, well, you know, I kind of figured personal convenience and off duty is the, pretty much the same. But, you know, I didn't edit it. I, 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 I don't know why. I don't know why I didn't edit it. I, I just, I don't know. I, I don't know. And that's completely my fault for not editing it or, you know, not taking it off. Um, so today, uh, eight o'clock in the morning, I, um, I had to, you know, had to shoot a, you know, shoot a conversation with my, safety director because of course she wants to know why she wants to know why uh personal convenience was left on <laughs> and you know i'm i'm sitting in a chair trying to trying to remember you know what happened but i i i, I know that i i know that i left it on but i didn't get a chance to i didn't get a chance to edit to go back into you know sleeper or off duty now of course she said because you know they went to a a, a seminar about personal conveyance you know there's a there's a little bit of tweets here and a little bit of tweets there but let me rewind back to why i had to see my safety director now i was going home friday yeah, I, I was going home Friday and instead of jumping on personal conveyance because I can I can drive home from 
I can drive home on personal conveyance. I don't live that far from the terminal. So I could drive home on personal conveyance, but I had hours left anyway. And I was like, bump it out. I'll, I'll run all my hours out. So of course I ran all my hours out and let's say I was about maybe five, 10 minutes away from the house. So hours is in violation. I'm like, Oh man, uh -uh. I'm not that far from the house. So I stopped for a minute to go into personal conveyance so I can make it the rest of the way home. And I looked on my Sam Sarah and I was like, okay, drive off duty, on duty, sleeper, yard move, no personal conveyance. Okay, but well, maybe it needed a, a, a update or something. I was like, okay, update, you know, da, 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 update. And then I, I was like, okay, drive, yard move, sleeper, off duty, on duty, no personal convenience. So I remembered that yard move don't mess with the drive clock and don't mess with the you know don't mess with the shift clock either so i said man well may, maybe it's an update or something like that so i put it in yard move to make it the rest of the way home which was you know about 10 minutes or something like that and i used that to make it to the rest of the way home so fast forward to today I finally found out what happened to personal conveyance. So I had to see my safety director about that. So um, the information about personal conveyance, you really got to be careful with it. Number one, don't abuse it. Don't make, don't, and don't make it like, you know, don't make it like you're abusing it. All right. Because it can, it can be easily abused. All right, the company that I work for, they are real stricklers on their, you know, their CSA scores, and they they re they they really tight knit about your eight, your hours of service clock. All right, you know, you definitely don't want to be in violation, and you definitely don't want to you don't want to take advantage of personal conveyance. Personal conveyance works when you need it if you need to move if you're at a shipper or a receiver and you you know you're being hemmed up there or something like that you want to go get something to eat you want to you know go get some fuel or something like that and come back you can use it for that if you're on a load and here's the kicker once you get finished with the load you are still considered on that load, so you can't jump into personal conveyance and go back to the terminal or go home, per se, all right? So you're technically still under the load. Now, once you drop the trailer, you're no longer under a load, and then you're free to use personal conveyance to go home. Now, you can't use personal conveyance to come to your terminal. That's considered on duty. You're on your way to the job or something like that. Now, I thought back in the day because I figured that, you know, you were still considered off duty so you could use personal conveyance to come into the terminal, right? At least I, I thought so, but I don't think that you can use personal conveyance to come in to where your terminal is at or whatever the case may be. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on it. Make sure you go to the CSF, uh, CFMCSA uh, website and make sure you read up on personal conveyance. So with that said, I had to have a conversation with uh, my safety director about uh, personal conveyance. And I rest, you know, of, I assured her that I, I don't abuse it. 
every time you use it, make sure you put in the remarks why you using it for whatever case. All right. If you're going to get something to eat, you're going to get something to eat. You have to move. You have to move. You're looking for a parking spot, looking for a parking spot. Kicked off a property, kicked off a property. Make sure, all right, make sure that you definitely, definitely don't abuse it. Because if you abuse it, the company could just easily take it away. All right? All right. Personal convenience. Make sure you uh, read up on that. All right. So in the email, I got an email and, um, and it's from, uh, it's from a gentleman about Vahara trucking. All right. He wants to, he wants my opinion on their refresher program. All right. Uh, here's the breakdown training breakdown, one week orientation classroom on the range, I guess simulator training all training is compensated up to 500 dollars a week cent per mile rate will apply at upgrade to solo driver which means that if you if you're already a cdl holder and let's just say you you haven't drove the truck in a, in about a couple of years i think i think you have to have uh, I think you have to have a year consecutive driving or something like that. I'm not sure, but say like you haven't driven in a couple of years, but you still got your CDLs. You kept it up. You got your, you got your DOT certificate. You kept it up and you just figured that, Hey, you know, I need, um, a crash course. Well, the Hara trucking offers at that said crash course but they will compensate you for that crash course at $500 per week, but it's supposed to last a week. So you will get that $500. All right. So of course you go in there for your regular orientation, um, classroom, you go in there for, you know, to get, you know, alley dock side to side, parallel park all that good stuff just to you know just to you know get your mind back in the flow of driving the truck um five hundred dollars a week for that one week not bad not bad cent per mile will be upgraded so if you you know if you pass and you 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 know that you could show them that you, you could you could drive the truck then of course you'll get the cent per mile what that cent per mile is I don't know. All right. So if you need more time, this is subsequent weeks training with a VIP driver trainer for up to 8,500 miles during your training requirement. You will work the same schedule as your driver trainer and stay in the truck. Start your day of the week days off home time will mirror your trainer so if your trainer takes the weekend off then you got the weekend off if your trainer uh needs to take a day off then that's your day off so it's not like you know if the trainer needs that time off or something like that you could probably jump with another trainer not no i don't know don't know but that's some information that maybe I will do a future make the call in because suppose your trainer takes a week off or two weeks off. Would you still be able to get another trainer? We don't know. We don't know. VIP extended training program and the program requirements in return for the in individualized training and resources Vahara provides to our VIPs, you will be asked to sign a nine month employment commitment and it pays up to $500 a week. Now I'm not sure 
if that's for the refresher program though i think that's probably might be for their regular cdl i guess do Vi do do Vihar have a cdl uh training school i i never thought that they did but if they want you to sign a nine month commitment just for the refresher no, bruh. Mm -mm, mm -mm. But wait. Wait. What? Look, 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 look. Wait. Listen. Depending on how much it is, by the sounds of this, this sounds like you have to pay for it. All right? It sounds like you have to pay for it. So, in that case, signing a nine-month employment commitment after you come out of the refresher program, there's something, there's something to think about. There's something to think about, all right? Because I'm not a fan of signing commitments. That's why I went and paid my money for my license so I won't be subject to a company you know to get my license from a company and then i got to be subject to them for nine months 10 months 12 months that's 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 not happening not a fan <laughs> i'm just saying not a fan but if you're in a situation that finances is a burden then maybe but you also got to be careful you got to read the fine print because once you become a solo driver you know once you upgrade you got to make sure that the cent per mile is going to be all right too because the main reasons why a lot of comp why a lot of drivers a lot of new drivers after they get their license they usually leave the company sorely because of the money point blank period the money if the money ain't right if the money ain't right you will not you you will not have a good time there you'll be just like the rest of them quitting <laughs> quitting before you're before you finish your obligation to the company so just take your time read the fine print uh, if you had you know if you went if you got your CDLs already and you just need a quick crash course uh the higher trucking will be uh something to look into all right um again my opinion on all of this i think this is pretty good you know pretty good except for the nine month commitment <laughs> you know but still it's a pretty good it's a pretty good thing if you if you haven't been driving if you haven't been driving for a hot minute then you know try by uh what is it called what is they called what's the name vahara vahara vahira vahira God, i can't pronounce shit always beat names up but anyway i i did make the call to them but i think i'm gonna go ahead and do a special call to them and 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 talk to them about their refresher program to get a little bit more information for you guys especially for you guys that already have your cdls and you just want to you know get back into the swing of things i will give them a call and i'll i'll find out for you all right well that's going to do it for today's commentary guys i'm glad you stayed to the end thank you very much if you have any questions or anything like that make sure you get at me at the gmail lockout men podcast at gmail.com or you can come over to the instagram and leave your questions over there at lockout men on instagram don't forget to like share comment uh hit that subscribe button all button and that join button and I will come back at you guys with another one. Y'all take it easy. Peace. Ryan Little. <laughs>